hey what's going on everybody it's time for our daily vid um, so today's update on the Xeong is the um, the tail booster and this is a big sum of bitch um, I only have a couple of spots that had really bad um, seams on it and this is one of them um, and I'm kind of not surprised with it being this big because you have to imagine that the mold that's in uh, when they pressure cast it, it's it's going to offset. Um, the only way out of that is really if you have a really thick mold um, or a hard mold. But uh, as you can see here, there's on that. So I'm going to have to true that up. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of detail on here. I'll just have to rescribe uh, a panel line here and uh, I pretty much think that's it in one right here. Um, so on this part of the booster itself, um, I did not magnetize. It's actually got three um, big uh, brass rods through it um, going down and then to an angle that way to compensate for the weight because it, it is solid so it's weighty. Um, but the rest of the accessories that go on here have been magnetized so let's go ahead and pop those on and then i'll show you the monstrosity that i uh i created <laughs> to attach this um now uh, let's see we had this we have these side ones and i actually offset because one goes on one side one goes on the other so I, the magnets are actually offset a little bit and these actually pretty much push in and stay. The magnets are just there as added security. Um, I've just got to... Uh, one of the things to keep in mind is this is what I quote unquote call my, my pre-build um, where I get everything either pinned or magnetized, set into place, and then I go through and I'm going to true up um, all the lines um, drill out my holes for my metal details, start planning out my lighting, um, and all that good stuff. So on, on this, I'm actually going to put that on last so you guys can see that. I figured out it works out better that way. Um, this one I will put on right now, if I can remember which, which ones go where. Now what I did, because these are just for pretty much just for looks um, we've got this piston shaft that goes in we're going to slide in that and hopefully I got these in the right side and then that's just going to pop on like that and on this side we're going to put that one in like this in like so and as you can probably see I have some big magnets on here um, I think it's got a rated pull strength of 30 35 pounds um, it's not going anywhere and as I expected I actually got these on backwards I should have known because that one was too long so that one goes there like so That one will slide in like so. Inset and then. So these aren't really weight bearing at all. And this one's going to go just like so. And then on here, we've got this one, which sits on there like, like meow. And let's see. And then we've got that, which will go like so, and then the very tip. Now with that laid out like that, um, it is actually 14 inches. Let me make sure, I think I measured it out at 14 inches, but 
uh, I take that back. I lied. From the furthest point to the furthest point is actually just shy of 15 inches. Um, so that's not even counting the body. So let's swivel this around here. And this is what it looks like with uh, the hatch closed. Though I don't foresee it being displayed that way. And as you can see in here, I have corresponding magnets. Um, I was going to do, I was actually going to do a brass rod uh, into there, but unfortunately I don't really have enough room. It's really too thin. Um, there's a big cavity here and a <clears throat> another section that I have a rod already going up um, to support this. And there she be. Um, so yeah, this is displaying it on the shelf. You're going to have to have some, uh, deep, uh, deep space on there. Um, probably look best displayed at an angle or something like that. So, um, size wise, yeah, this is, this is a big sucker. I don't even know if, uh, my boosters on the 160 Tetra or, um, that long. Uh, let's see what else have we got so all I need to do um, now is the the shoulder pieces um, which should only take a couple of minutes because it's only like three pieces uh, resin pieces there for there um, the the collar and uh, for the head then we'll get the head on there um, and the head sitting in the container over here it's already uh, pretty much ready for primer so and then I'm going to clean up and uh, start filling in the holes for my drill marks all that good stuff cleaning up uh, what's left of the the pour marks there is a uh, like a ridge here it's it's not bad it's actually smooth here smooth here but there's a, a groove in there um, from the mold <coughs> so I'm actually just going to fill that in and uh, will it swing around without hitting it and yeah, this sucker is going to need a heavy duty base. Uh, I now see why Matt um, was joking around when he had it on the, the big plastic base and it was all there. Um, yeah, it's going to do that. Putting this on wants to pull it to the back between it and this. And I don't even have the, the boosters on there yet. Um, which speaking of, I'm doing some modifications on those to try and figure out I'll give you guys an idea here of what I'm planning on. So I love I, I love these things. I have a bunch of other LEDs. Um, these I get off of. Um, uh, it'd help if I did it this way. I get these off of Amazon. They're like seven dollars each. There's twenty of these uh, LEDs on here. Um, and it's already got the resistor everything on there I have another one that you guys have probably seen before that I have magnets soldered to the end of the wires for doing my testing <coughs> but uh, these things are great uh, they're small um, what they are is they're LEDs and they're covered in um, I think hot glue uh, some kind of, of glue but it's soft and flexible so you can actually manipulate these really well and then the wires actually have a coating on there so like you can see these are touching they're not shorting out um, but you can like clip scrape them off scrape it off and solder these um, so what I am attempting to do let me shut this off is if you guys can see if it shows um, one light in the center and then you've got the glow around the outer ring and then the glow coming through it itself so <clears throat> hopefully that turns out turns out well um, I'm having to finagle and raise it up I have a clear ring on here um, but what I'm actually thinking about doing is taping off the bottom filling partially with some uh, clear resin and then mount the light in the clear resin so I get a solid um, even glow 
Um, I still have to play around with that. From the conversion, you end up with one extra of these. So it lets me uh, lets me play around. And, and if I screw it up, I haven't screwed up one of the others. All right, guys. So that is it for tonight. Thanks for st sticking around, staying tuned. Um, I'm actually enjoying doing these on a regular basis and knocking these out. Letting you guys see the progress and seeing... Uh, uh, seeing your thoughts and everything and uh, don't forget about the raffle which is ongoing um, I think we're up to about 200 tickets sold so far uh, you guys still have plenty of time but um, I'm always here you guys have a great day and uh, I will probably talk to you tomorrow peace out